In the last video, we have built a simple smart contract for an event organization for selling tickets and collecting money. So if you haven't watched, I'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. In this video, we're going to learn about the constant keyword in sortie. And this is very important concept which you have to know. Because if you're in a smart contract development, this will save you a lot of money when you will deposit the contract. Okay. So we'll I'll give this comment constants and I will take a contract and I'll call constants and i'm going to define a couple of variable couple of state variable okay so let's take a stay address first i'll take make it public and say my address and this is the address of my first account so i'm simply pasting here okay if i come here if i simply deploy this and if i open my console you can see here this is the entire transaction log the hash generation okay this is the execution cost i paid for deploying the contract on the base of this variable the state variable I have defined so okay so what i will do is simply copy this and i will paste here okay i will show you the difference that why you should use constant for certain variables so i just want to make it clear one thing that when you use constant where the value is constant it's not going to change in the context of this contract you can see this is the address i have defined in the contract and this address is not going to be changed all the funds i will receive in this address okay so whenever you have any variables in your smart contract that's going to be permanent you can't change those variables you should define constant okay so this is the amount i'm paying without defining constant but you will see that when you will when i will define the constant i'll pay less so this is how you can define constant constants literally you say spell it right and this is the general convention you follow to define the constant variable in uppercase so my dash address okay so this is the general convention to define the variables now i will simply deploy the contract and i will show you something if i deploy it come back to the logs and uh, let me have a look to the execution cost and this time i pay way less you can see simply copy and paste it here you can see there is a lot of difference in the gas which we are paying with constant and without constant okay so that's why you should use constant for those variable which are constant which are not going to change in the contract okay so that's the simple funder we have here and now let's write a function to see that what we get so we'll say get constant public return and we want to return the address so we want to simply return this my address okay so the address we have defined with a constant value okay Let's come and we'll make it view so we can easily able to see that let's deploy the contract and this is the amount we got okay so we are calling the constant variable with the function so this is the amount we are paying two one five four five zero now let's comment this one without constant and simply replace this one and deploy and call this function and here you can see here the amount we are paying 23586 still we are paying higher okay so you can see we are saving money when we are calling the function as well okay so it's always good to use constant when you the when there is a, when you define any variable which not going to change you can see you are saving a lot of money for your for your company and that's the only thing you have to know about the constant in short those variable is going to be permanent not going to change you should define those variable constant to save money okay and those variables going to be changed you should just use normal expression okay so that's the only thing i want to say hope you guys have learned something new with that let's move to the next video